What's going down? <clears throat> this is TK coming at you. And I am very uh, passionate about financial empowerment. If you trade in paper money, which is of lower value, for alternative currency, which is worth more than paper money, then it financially puts you in a different status than those people who refuse to diversify internationally. The problem is that people see paper money as the only form of currency when gold currency, cryptocurrency, and silver currency are higher forms of money that are available to someone smart enough to convert to them. Now, I've spent uh, the better part of a year, and now uh, going into next year, I'm aggressively converting my personal account to alternative currency because I understand that there's increase in value the longer you hold it. See, the diametric opposite that exists within the two forms of currency is that paper money loses value over time due to inflation, taxation, monetary uh, policy, whereas uh, alternative currency increases value the longer you hold it, i.e., you buy Bitcoin at $400 and it goes up to $500. So it's simple mathematics. It's nothing to argue with. It's nothing to debate about. It is having something of value that's asset backed and then having a promissory piece of paper that's government backed. It's just that simple. I get frustrated with the fact that people choose not to diversify. People choose not to want something that can financially empower them. And they don't uh, take the time to learn what they don't know. It's one thing if you're not familiar with Bitcoin, if you're not familiar with alternative currency, but it's another thing not to learn and only stick with paper money. And that's my primary problem with most people is that I spend the time to try to educate you on why cryptocurrency and alternative currency is more beneficial than paper money. But people actively take the time to uneducate themselves and refuse to diversify. It's sort of like having financial insurance. When you have financial insurance, it is a backup plan to paper money. It's not saying that paper money is not a role in your life. What it's saying is you have something of more value that you can lean on. If you own 100 acres, it's not a negative liability. It's something that you can lean on. You can tap into that asset without selling the land. You could do a number of things that subdivide and uh, could bring money to you just by owning the acres of land. So owning alternative currency is the same analogy in that it empowers you and allows you to tap into higher equity whenever you need it. My strategy and goal is not to sell what I have, is to accumulate a large account and then lean on it whenever I need it. If I need to pull assets out of Bitcoin, then all I have to do is leverage against what I have. I don't necessarily have to sell in order to tap into that money. So there's a lot of financial empowerment that comes with alternative currency. And the fact that people choose to ignore it, not learn about it, not diversify to it, only uh, solidifies the Stockholm Syndrome that is associated with paper money. You choose your infliction, you welcome your pain, because the nature of paper money is to be manipulated, controlled, limited access, and the people at the top of paper money do what they can to ensure that their position never comes close to. So why deal with that system of slavery when the option to step out of it, move away from it, and move into something that cannot be manipulated and controlled. See, there's no bank, there's no government behind decentralized currency. 
It's just you, your wallet, and how you choose to spend or access the money. So the empowerment point is acquire, convert, and convert consistently with the dollar cost averaging strategy of conversion over the long term into alternative currency. Now, I'm only looking for people with a, a business brain, the uh, mental capacity to, to understand how to build business, build relationships, and extend the microeconomy that is alternative currency. If that's not true, then uh, do what everybody does, scroll past this video. Because honestly, when you lock arms with somebody who understands the benefits the monetary benefits that come with a group of people creating waves in a alternative currency, then that group of people become empowered. That group of people become extremely successful because they are skating on ice that other people aren't. They're t uh, 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 b pioneering new territory within what's next, not what's now. Now, every billionaire within paper money has done the level of success that they, or, or, or completed the level of success that they have because they blazed new territories, because they saw what was next, and that's where they positioned their time, their energy, and their money. So I'm saying the same thing when it comes to alternative currency because one day, alternative currency will be the only form of payment. If you position yourself now, you can accumulate while it's low and then benefit on the equity gain as it becomes commonplace. And that is my primary goal. My primary goal is to establish a strong financial foundation within gold currency, cryptocurrency, and silver currency while the value is low. And then as the value begins to increase, the amount that I accumulated while it's low goes a thousand fold. Now, that's a simple mathematical strategy that doesn't require argument. That's why I say I need business-minded people who have the uh, ability or capacity to understand the expansion of a microeconomy and what it takes within statistical group numbers to tip a scale in terms of the movement of commerce. Because I say this and very few people respond in mathematics, when you reach a critical number, you tip the scale. So in any microeconomy, it takes the movement of money to create the success of that microeconomy. It's just that simple. It doesn't matter what system you apply this to. Take a large group of people apply a singular product to that group of people, the mathematical nature of the group based on action and participation then tips the scales of success. That is the business model that is in entertainment. That is the business model that is in the record industry. That is the business model that is in the movie industry. That is the business model of massive control in mega churches. So if you apply the same business principle and concept, if you're capable of understanding the business principle and mathematical concept to alternative currency, guess what happens? So I have to reach out. I have to find that capable mind and I have to utilize the principles of business building within a microeconomy towards that group of people. That's what I'm trying to do. And I'm also forced to do it by myself because of the people who refuse to diversify internationally with a alternative currency financial insurance plan. So I am forced to or rele relegated to slow movement through my own salary because of individual participation 
or relegated to self-participation. But if I was able to reach a critical mass of people to focus their energy on the same concept and utilize the same principles, then the scale tips.